Hello there everybody, this is Matt Tomato here and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Online and today I'm going to present to you a Castle Blood Automatic 3 vs 3. Now, um, I'm going to spoil it a little bit by um, saying that I do lose this game. Uh, and the reason I'm actually spoiling it is because this is going to be a demonstration of how professional Castle Blood Automatic players play. Because... This is my team over here, uh, we're on this side, I'm playing as the Vikings down to this side. My teammate is Krithish, playing as the Byzantines, Byzantines, whatever you want to call them. Over to this side, and our other teammate is Opest7999, I'll just call him Opest, playing as the Japanese. Our opponents, Resurrected, playing as the Persians, arguably the best Castle Blood Automatic civilization that is out there. Uh, I think so, anyway, uh, I definitely think they're one of the best, Resurrected. And the two pro players... We have Vasim Dagger, I'll call him Vasim Dagger over here, playing as the Saracens, and either must be related, his best mate or something like that, I don't know. Danny Dagger playing as the Chinese. Danny Dagger and Vasim Dagger, pro players, top, top, top Castle Blood automatic players. Uh, I believe Danny Dagger is one of the best, uh, or is a top random map player as well. Uh, but yes, yeah, so now we're going to see how the pros do it, because... Uh, I will tell you now, we're going to get owned. <laughs> so, this is how the pros do it. So, Vasim Dagger coming in here, straight away, civilization advantage. Um, using his civilization advantage, the Saracens and the attack bonus against the cavalry. So what is he doing? He's attacking the cavalry. Which is great. Uh, Danny Dagger coming in here to help out his teammate. Great news for his teammate Resurrected, who is of course trying to go on the offensive with these war elements. Because the main, the sole aim for uh, Resurrected really is to just go and batter stuff, uh, because that is what the war elephants are good at. Vasim uh, is stationing himself right outside uh, British's base, and of course the Hanfrats get owned by the Saracen um, Revolution. So, He's basically doing the right thing here. He's just standing outside the player he's going to he's guaranteed to beat in battle and is just cutting him off completely and stopping him from helping out his teammates, which are of course the best and me. Of course the archers grouping themselves up into a little little uh, area like that, which means they're gonna be far more effective at attacking. Patrolling as well, uh, which is even better. And now starting to attack Opet. Uh, Face. He's war elephants, of course, absolutely battering down the gate like god knows what. Uh, and double prod attack looks like it coming over to Resurrected here. Uh, Vikings, Viking Berserks, and Japanese Samurai both coming over this way. Uh, which could be interesting because um, only stone walls for the Persian players. So this should be interesting. However, over here, um, Opest in severe trouble. War elephants all over his face. Danny Dan has Chinese chicken news also all around. Uh, P2 King. Who is P2? Is it resurrected? Who is P2? Resurrected, yeah. P2 King, how interesting. Slightly odd. Uh, probably because there was quite a lot of uh, units in his base. Still a lot of but over here, Persian War Elephants are destroying absolutely everything at the moment. A few cataphracts here and there, but they're getting cut up by the Saracen Mamadou. My Berserk is trying to take out some of these War Elephants, but it's not doing the greatest of jobs. Of course, the um, Berserks aren't really the best at taking out War Elephants. Uh, they're not too bad, they've got high base attack. Not really going to do that much to help out. Uh, actually sending some berserks over this way to attack uh, somebody over this way. I don't know where I'm going. But uh, should really be helping my teammate out because look, uh, Krithish is also pushing out. Uh, so it's 3 versus 1 over here at the moment. Which means we're basically not working as a team. Uh, trying to attack uh, Vatim Daha a little bit over here. And there's a villager pushing over from Danny Daha. Uh, that is the idea, to help your teammates out as much as you can. And I'm going to guess that he's going to start repairing some of these gates or something like that. He's just going to help his teammate out. P4 King! Who is P4? That is Vasim Dagger. 
to take out all of my berserks over this side. How interesting. They must be confident uh, the opposing team of beating us because they are using their kings rather early uh, with simple wall attacks. But they are absolutely walking over Opex at the moment. Who actually decides to king. Uh, decent move actually, took out quite a lot of units, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, a lot of uh, Saracen Mamluks standing out here at the moment. Uh, Kritish moving forward with some cataphracts, but they are really focusing down Opest. Uh, the main reason is because his wall is so exposed. Um, there's just nothing there to protect his castles, so anything can just go storming straight in. Coordinated attack then, Chukonu's going in. Uh, Mamluks moving in, Persian War Elephants moving in. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm pushing out over this way. Zing! Yes, move your cataphract off the center. You will lose stone. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know who that was he flagged, but oh well. Somebody did. It could have been me, it could have been Opest, I don't know. I have no idea. But Vasim Dagger continuing to absolutely decimate this area. Uh, and wipe out the cataphracts uh, over here. More berserks going into Vasim Dagger, trying to take out these uh, gates. Not really succeeding. Again, this gate could go down. Well, if I can take out this gate, that'll be a bit of a bonus for me. Yes, Saboteur. Very nice. I managed to get that gate. So, Vasim Dagger does have something to think about over this way. However, look at this. British is absolutely open now. These cataphracts getting destroyed uh, by the Mamluks, and just for good measure, Danny Daha has his archers well in there. In the meantime, the war elephants from Resurrected piling into Opeth's face. Add to that the archers from Danny Daha. So basically, Danny Daha is in two places here. He's down here attacking Krithish, and he's up here attacking Opeth. And it's probably the best thing you can do. Be in two places at once. Actually, my mistake, three places. He's also having to defend Vasim Daha while he builds the wall to repair and to stop anybody getting in. That is brilliant. That seriously is brilliant. He could lose this villager though. Uh, no, these berserks are going to chase it down, but no, I think he's going to survive. Yep, that villager is going to survive. Going into the guard tower. Yep. The villager survives and once again I've got to bust down another wall or gate. Uh, my Berserk's trying to help out over here, but these Saracen Mamluks are just <clears throat> absolutely wrecking my army at the moment. And they're just standing outside the base just to just defeat anything that Krithish sends out. These archers killing off any of these Samurai that come out. Uh, because Samurai have poor pierce armor, so the archers are just going to get straight on that. Uh, and these War Elephants are actually attacking this gate over here, that's really interesting. And a huge mass of Berserk's now pushing out from me. Wall is repaired, so Danny Daha is uh, going to probably move out. No, he's just going to patrol over here for the moment. Uh, in the meantime, repairing gates. I think he's repairing that gate anyway, not entirely sure. But look at this over here. That is the perfect place to stand. Oh, big yawn, sorry. Oh dear, that is a very big yawn. Right, so these archers are just standing here in the perfect place because when your units are created, they automatically move over to here before you can control them. So basically, the archers are just standing there and picking them all off as they come out. Uh, which is very, very nice indeed. And of course, Opeth is used to king, so there's not really much he can do about that. So, me and Freddy are coming in here to try and take out these archers. However, Vassal is going to in with his um, Mamluk to deal with all of this. And even more war elephants pushing in now from Resurrected just to make it worse. In the meantime, Resurrected is building even more walls. Danny Daha walling up over at the back here as well for his teammates. What Danny Daha doing himself? Look at this. Wow, massive walls all over the place. So we're not going to be getting through there anytime soon. And even building a secondary wall outside of Vassim Daha's base as well. I mean, why not? We're not attacking over this way. We're not pressuring at all. So whilst you're not under pressure, you might as well just wall up. These castles continuously losing a few hit points. Uh, not using that many though. This one particularly is quite damaged. Uh, 
Right, big force of war elephants coming down. Uh, me just uh, getting in there with some berserks, trying to help out a little bit, but uh, it's not really... Um, I mean, it's fighting them off, but that's about it, because then more and more waves just keep on coming in. Uh, especially with all these Chuko Nu over here as well, from um, Danny Daha. Bastion Dagger taking Krithish out of the game completely here by just stationing these uh, Mamluks to the outside of his base. So look how quickly he goes through those hit points. Wow, look at that. 30 hit points just disappeared in one crack right there. The Samurai looking to go over towards Resurrected's base, however, um, it's going to find this massive wall over here. And, yes, <laughs> not very good at all. Me trying to move over with some Berserks. Uh, Krithish also trying to move over with some Cataphracts. But look, walls, walls, walls. Absolutely everywhere. We're not going to be breaking through there. Uh, I believe this game cuts out. I'm not entirely sure. I reckon it does, actually. I think this game cuts out. But this is how the pros do it. This is how they do it. They just stand in the right places, try to be in more than one place at once, and just keep walling up, building walls, keeping the pressure on nice and high, and using civilization advantages to the best of your ability. And look at this, so many more of them coming in here, it's amazing. Me moving up with some berserks, but not really doing anything, uh, anything concrete. Holding up these more really, not really stopping them, just holding them up a little bit uh, before the next wave reaches Opeth's base. And a huge lump of Mamelukes pushing out yet again, <coughs> which is even more amazing. This Shukonu moving down here, very interesting, <laughs> moving down to my base. Uh, I've not actually been attacked yet, I'm quite surprised uh, that I've not been attacked yet. But yes, uh, I think that Chikanu is there just for line of sight to see if I'm actually sneaking over this way at all. But no. Uh, why am I bringing these berserks down over here? Ah, I'm trying to uh, help out down this way. The problem is, I've just neglected all these war elephants. Oh, how nice. Uh, these berserks moving over this way. Is Danny Daha going to see him with these Chikanus? He might do. Yep, turning straight back around. Oh my goodness me. Yep, he's seen them. <laughs> How very interesting. Could get in through that gap there, actually. But uh, Vasim Daha probably sent... Danny Daha probably sending out messages saying he's coming. So just going to block up that hole completely. Very nice. This castle is probably going to go down now because of this. Um, there's just so many war elephants in here now. And me just kind of kind of wasting those berserks to be honest. Villagers even pushing forward from the Persian player. Look at this. That confident. Uh, me trying to snipe that villager. Am I gonna get it? One more hit and it is dead. Yes! I managed to get that villager. Minor victory right there, but my goodness me, look at all this over here. Just absolutely devastating. That castle, 79 hit points. Wow. How is that thing still standing? No idea. 37, 30. Yep, that's going to go down. That's one castle gone. More army moving over this way. Uh, Kazakh moving in. Uh, no, he is castle, Krithish. I uh, just wondered. Uh, he's only got the plus one at the moment. You need to get the researchers in, really. I mean, you've got so many resources, you might as well. Yep, yeah, and more stone walls coming up over this way. This is quite funny, actually. Uh, even more stone walls. He's going to completely wall all the way across here. Wow. That would just be epic. That shows how bad we are. Uh, these counterfracts getting owned by the Mamelukes. Uh, Mamelukes even pushing in over this way. And why have I got an idle berserk over there? In again, look, trying to push in over that way. Trying to get that villager. Not going to succeed though. Because he's moved to the safety of his base behind all of these walls. Chico News is picking off any trailing berserk. Uh, more war elephants moving in. He's kind of trying to hold them up, but not really 
doing such a decent job. He going in with some berserk to try and help out. Uh, Opest is actually moving across the map with some samurai. However, uh, he's going to meet walls wherever he goes. Uh, so, not really going to be able to do anything with those at all. Where they're going, I have no idea. <coughs> Big fight over here. Lots of Chico news from Danny Daha. Uh, and lots of more elephants from Resurrected. Uh, so, three on one here. Uh, not really going to do anything. Danny Daha chemistry by the look of it. Yep, so that suggests he's Imperial. And this saboteur. Ooh. I think he was just looking to just sneak one in there and kill them all off. But, uh, didn't quite get to that. How many sabs does he have? No idea how many saboteurs he has. But plenty of archery rangers going up. I think um go over to Danny Dan. I think they get arbalest. I don't know. Right, I think they do get arbalest, uh, the Chinese. Uh, let's move back over here. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> right, huge, huge, huge point over here. I think everybody is here except me. Oh no, yes I am here. Everybody is over here now, where all the fighting is taking place. Yep, complete wall off all the way across here from Resurrected. That just shows how terrible we are. My goodness me. Uh, we should just resign. We should just resign, to be honest. This is gone. There's no way in the world we're going to get this. There's absolutely no way in the world we're going to win this game. Um, yeah, I think the game drops in a minute. I'm not entirely sure. I believe it does. Yeah, I believe the game drops. Anyway, I think you know how um, how this is going to end up. So, to be honest... Um, mm, yeah, I think it... I can't remember... Yeah, I remember it dropping. <coughs> I can't remember when it dropped, but I seem to remember it dropping. I know, we'll wait a little bit longer. Right, so guard towers and everything just going up around here at the moment. Uh, quite amazing, really, if you ask me. Use your blacksmith, I'm going to guess that that is the sign. In the meantime, massive fighting over this way. Patrolling all over the place. Arbalest coming in now from... Um, Danny Daha, which is just going to destroy absolutely everything. Mass Arbalests are pretty much unstoppable. Uh, there we go, Arbalest and Shuko News in there. Uh, and this could be it. This looks like it's going to be the game ending blow. Yeah, these Arbalests are continuously moving forward. Uh, me trying to come in with some more Berserks, but not really going to get very far, I don't think. Go straight for the castles now. Yeah, resurrected. Go straight for the castles. Uh, chemistry for him. That suggests that he's imperial. Yes, you are imperial. Okay, let's have a look. All right, you have got all the upgrades. So, that's interesting. Now there's no population absolutely whatsoever for Opest. There's only got a few soldiers coming out here and there. Yeah, he's got a few soldiers coming out at the moment, but to be honest, there's just so many units here. These arbalests are even cutting through my berserk. Like, what I've got. More arbalests moving forward. Uh, more uh, soldiers coming in from Basin Dagger. Uh, me, with this one berserk, just holding everybody up. How nice. Uh, that's kind of interesting. They can't actually get out that way, but there is another exit over this way. That, that's kind of funny, that, actually. Right, actually setting the gate on fire with one berserk. How about that? But if Resurrected was to come in with this force, which he is now moving forward, and if Basim Daha was to come in with this force, that would be it, I think. That would definitely be it. Uh, more War Elephants coming in. Uh, Krithish, not really going to be able to help out that much, because there's so many Mamelukes here. And even these archers will just absolutely murder cataphracts.
Uh, at least I think they would. Yeah, only three uh, Pierce armor at the moment. Ten attacks, so seven, seven attack for every arrow. So ten, ten arrows, seventy attack. That's more than half of the cataphract's health. So in two shots, they're basically dead. Uh, I think the cataphract is dead. So then again, pushing in, trying to see if you can do some damage. Um, me also in there. But not really doing much. Another berserk moving forward towards the uh, <laughs> towards that gate. However, guard towers are going up, so that berserk is going to die. There we go. And more mamelukes coming out for Bass and Dagger. On the plus side, the obelisks from um, Danny Deha have been temporarily cleared up. However, more coming in. Even more coming in. These berserks moving over, but so, so many war elephants attacking this castle, not really going to be able to do anything against that, I don't think. Mamelukes tidying up the castle crack. Yeah, not many samurai at the moment being picked off. Uh, all the archers have gone again, though. Uh, there's a few in the middle, but that's about it from uh, Danny Daha. Uh, another castle goes down from Opest. Only two left now for him, and forces of berserks are coming in from me. So, but they're getting smaller and smaller uh, because I'm trying to send them all in at the same time, which is not really helping. I mean, trying to get rid of these overlays. Uh, doing a relatively decent job of getting rid of those. But I just cannot deal with anything else. More elephants continuously attacking this castle, severely on fire. Uh, even being attacked by the Arbalest. That is quite nice. <coughs> War elephants providing the decoys for the castle to attack so the Arbalest and Shuko News can actually attack the castle. That's quite funny. Not many players would do that, but when you're in this kind of position with uh, big beastie animals, uh, big tough unit to uh, decoy the attack when you can attack the castle with the arrows uh, and shown here that it can be very effective War Elephants are going to finish it off and Opeth has one castle left <coughs> even the Mamelukes are now pushing in onto the castle because they are determined to finish this off this time yeah, even more forces from me coming in, but to be honest, Critis is even going out to try and attack, rather than actually help out with this way. Because Opeth is dead, that is going to be... I think we've known that for quite a while. <coughs> Opeth has had it. Uh, and now, Danny Dehat is even moving forward to attack me now. Because he is confident, uh, well, they are confident, they have beaten Opeth, so now they can stop attacking other players. Uh, so very, very interesting and very well played from the two pro players because Resurrect is bombing in with these war elephants each time. Uh, providing some decoys. Generally being a nuisance. Opeth defeated then, 3 vs 2. I decide to resign because frankly it's not worth fighting on. Uh, this game didn't actually cut out. That's really interesting. I thought this game would cut out, but it hasn't. And Critish resigns as well. Right, it didn't cut out. I must be thinking of a different game then. But great game. That is how to play Let Pros. And thanks for watching. See you next time for Age of Empires 2 with me, Matthew Tomato.